Hi guys, Mike here with Century Security Systems Incorporated. In this YouTube video, we're going to take a look at the Milestone VMS platform and why it uses video archiving. If you're new to Milestone, um, you've probably not used a platform before that does the archiving the way Milestone does. GeoVision, our, our own Axia product line, for example, don't use archiving at all. It's a feature that is not available. The great thing with archiving is that it allows you to move your video files onto another device. So what you can do is you can record your live video onto the Milestone NVR and then move it off into a network storage device onto another hard drive or another RAID on the machine. This gives you some great flexibility in large scale systems. So every IP camera will have a database that it uses to store video. The maximum size that database can be is 40 gigabytes or 600,000 records. So you're probably wondering what the heck is a record? So a record is defined as one second of MPEG-4 video. If you've got an older camera uh, that uses the MJPEG or you've for some reason set your newer camera to use MJPEG, every single frame will count as a record. So you would have, at 30 frames per second, you would have 30 records compared to on MPEG-4 video, just one record. So you can see that you would not have nearly as much time on your live video folder before it would need to be archived. If you're running a smaller system, you might wonder, well, I don't, I don't need archiving. I don't have a network storage device. I don't have a secondary backup server, none of that stuff. In that case, all you need to do is set a live video folder and an archive folder. The software actually takes care of the rest, so there's nothing to worry about. It'll work exactly the same way that GeoVision does. You never have to give a second thought to it. Just let Milestone worry about it. Just know that the archiving does still happen. It's just the way the, the Milestone platform works, but it's happening in the background, and you really don't need to do anything beyond that initial setup. We mentioned that you have 600,000 records or 40 gigabytes before the archiving happens. So what happens if you exceed that database size? Okay, so what's, what the VMS platform is gonna do is make room for the live video recording by deleting the oldest footage. So if you're using the newer, newer codecs, in theory, you'd have about seven days of recording before you're gonna run out of space. And that's, that's at full time recording. So if you're only doing motion, it's going to be even longer. So if you want to, <clears throat> if you want to extend past that seven days of constant recording, you do have to use archiving. If you don't use archiving, it will limit you to 40 gigabytes per camera. So you could have storage space of 4,000 gigabytes per camera. Milestone won't care. It will cut you off at 40 gigabytes if you do not have an archive folder. So that's why I mentioned you have to use it even if it's on the same drive so you can have your live recording folder and your archive folder on the exact same drive you just have to have that folder there so what exactly is archiving we know that we have to do it if we want to use the milestone platform but what's it actually do well archiving is the process of moving the camera database to another storage device this is going to allow you a lot of flexibility not just longer periods of video retention but also flexibility in hardware. So you may be limited by the number of hard drives that you can fit in an NVR. You know, our, our maximum right now is 15 hard drives. You know, if you're running an eight terabyte drive, that does give you quite a bit of storage, but maybe you need double, triple, quadruple that. And what you could do is have four additional servers at, that you would use as archive servers in that particular case. And you could specify certain cameras go to each server so you can have unlimited amount of storage because you can spread it out across multiple machines something that other software platforms don't necessarily allow you to do so the archiving process now that we kind of have an idea on what it is just give you a quick rundown on how it works so the first thing that it does is it closes the camera connection so while it's archiving you are not recording this does though take only a matter of seconds you know roughly a couple of seconds per camera that you would that you would miss so what it does is it takes that live database so your live recordings it closes it and moves it to a temporary folder in the same path 
So if you're back, if you have your record folder on the D drive, it's just going to make a new folder on the D drive within that one called archiving and it'll leave it there temporarily. Once that's done, it then makes a new live database that's empty um, for, for each camera. So now you've started over your 40 gigs of storage space again, we're starting fresh. Once that's done, the camera connection's opened and recording resumes. At this point, the archive move process begins. So this transfers that temporary folder that it created um, onto the final destination. And the reason for that is we don't want that camera connection closed down if there's gonna be a long period of time to, to actually archive it. So the archive process could take, you know, depending on how it's going over the network or the internet or whatnot, you know, you could be looking at five minutes, five hours, who knows? So just a couple things to note here. If there's not enough disk space, the software will delete the oldest archive for that camera until it has the required disk space. The required disk space is the amount of that temporary folder, so the size of it, plus one gigabyte. So it's gonna leave at least one gigabyte of free space on there. So if you have archives for the past 30 days and you're putting a new one on, but there's not enough space, it will delete the oldest archive from 30 days ago. Very similar to how GeoVision or Axia work or really any other NVR platform. Once it's freed up the space that it needs, it's copied everything over, the move is complete, the temporary folder is deleted, and the archive process is complete. So the archiving process is not perfect. It's not without a couple of small little issues, and I'd like to talk about those now. The Probably the most common one is that there's gaps in the recording when the NVR is archiving. So somebody will call up and say, hey Mike, we've got this new milestone system. It's set to archive at two in the morning, and at two in the morning, I don't have any recording footage. I'm getting gaps there. So there's a couple of possibilities. First one is the camera's just reached its maximum capacity before the archive took place. So that database is maxed out to 600,000 records or 40 gigabytes, and it's got to delete the the oldest footage to make room for the new one. Same as it does in archiving, it will do with the live folder. So from you know, from 12 o'clock to one o'clock, there may not be any footage because it had to delete that footage at midnight in order to make room for the, for the last footage. So if the initial archive process is being done on a machine that does not adequately meet the performance requirements, it can take a long time to create that temporary folder. And in that case, the cameras are actually down. They haven't reconnected yet and you'll have that gap. So for example, RAID 5, if it's if you're using just a software RAID 5 on a motherboard or a really low end card, um, it's not going to support the file move command. And what the file move command is, is instead of actually moving all of that footage, it just changes the, the, the path name. So instead of, you know, changing 40 gigabytes for every camera, it's just changing the path name and it's done in seconds instead of minutes. So to that point, not all NVRs are the same. You'll see price differences. That's one of the common issues. So if it takes a couple of minutes, five minutes, whatever, to create that temporary archive folder, you're not recording during that time. That's why it's critical that you get a high-end server. Okay, high-end servers will have high-end RAID cards. Cheap computers will have cheap RAID cards. Okay, that's how it that's how it works. Or no RAID card at all. They may just be using software. Okay, so the next common issue that we run into or complaint that we receive is that you're getting low disk space warnings on the smart client. So the low disk space warnings, they're only going to be displayed when the recording drive runs low. Okay, so if you've got a separate archiving device, space on that runs low, that's actually quite common. That's normal, actually. So once your capacity is filled up, it's just going to have to delete footage to make room for the new one. The recording folder, though, does need to have adequate space to hold all of the recorded footage before the archiving takes place. So factor on that 40 gigabyte limit per camera, multiply that out by the number of cameras and you've got the number that your recording drive needs to be. So when the, the server was spec'd, 
if it was done incorrectly or mistakes were made, you may not have quite enough space on there. So there's a couple of ways around it. You could archive more frequently. Now, archiving more frequently may require an update on the software. You do need to go all the way up to the enterprise version to be able to archive um, at one hour intervals. The other option is reducing the record frame rates and or resolution. That's only gonna help though if you're hitting the 40 gigabyte mark, not the record mark. So it's 40 gigabytes or 600,000 records. If you're hitting 600,000 records before archiving, changing that's not gonna do anything. Okay. If you're archiving to the same drive as the record folder, the Milestone software will begin deleting the archives automatically to make room for the new video. So again, if you're just a simple, you know, five, six camera installation, really don't need to worry about it. It's just ignore those error messages. It's deleting the stuff from the archive to make room for the live video. If the archive is done to a separate drive, the Milestone software will delete the temporary archives to make room for the new video. Now that's important because you're gonna be losing current information there. So if you have your, your set to archive every day, okay, so it's archiving every day, and while it's copying data over, you've now run out of space for new video coming in, it's gonna delete that video from the last 24 hours to make room for the new video. So you're gonna get gaps in your recording if you're doing that. You're gonna see spots that are missing. So going back to that 40 gigabytes times the number of cameras, you're gonna to wanna to give yourself a little bit of wiggle room there. You know, maybe go 45, 50 gigabytes per camera just to give yourself some extra room so that you're not pushing that to the limits. Now, if no temporary archives exist, the system will force an archive to run to make room for a new live video. So that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at Century Security Systems Incorporated. My name's Mike, I work in the tech support department. I'd be glad to, to help you out. If you're looking at a quote for a new milestone system, we've got lots of account managers that would be happy to help you out with that as well. Thanks for watching.